Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 3 of Sink Into Madness, a mod pack by John Bams and M1 Jordan Allen. So, in the last episode we got a couple of things accomplished. We went some adventuring, although we couldn't land anywhere because we're just not ready to adventure safely. Uh, now we're kind of stuck on progression. We need some water, we need... We need some, uh, our crucible and our ore doubling and everything. So let me just cook three sand because I want to start getting, uh, some glass for bottles. I have one here, but I want more than one so I can fill and refill this with water to be able to make dust. Uh, so let's prepare our dust for clay. I'm going to just do two. And those three glass will give me two bottle. Where's my wooden hammer? So let's break that down into gravel, put them down and break it down again into sand and again into dust. Et voila. So now basically we really just need the, um, the water for it. But I'm going to have to go downstairs for that. Uh, might as well since we have the uh, charcoal burning might as well burn a couple more wood for some more charcoal as you guys know it's very useful for the Weisenberg so that we can go around okay so I got some iron right here and I'm gonna turn that iron into two bucket because I need two bucket for my uh, what's it called for my uh, cobblestone generator wow that was like a hard time finding my words i have more iron here but i need to double my ore so let's look at the grinder it's the last thing we search we need three stone three cobblestone and so three stone and three cobblestone one two three and we need some fence which means six more cobblestone oh, let's just grab a couple so let's make some fence like so and we need to have some uh, flint and flint is basically three gravel so let's put three down of these and turn that into gravel that we can then immediately turn into one flint so we should be able to make our grinder right now let's make that and we need two more stone for the uh, plate we could make the plate out of wood stone iron gold but we don't have enough gold iron is too precious right now and wood is not as good as stone so let's do it this way for now i'm gonna put it right here for the beginning and where's my stone pressure plate put it on top so technically we can start transforming the iron ore it's gonna make a quick look around are there any birds close no perfect so since there isn't any bird, this is how you use the grinder in the beginning. You just jump on it. The higher we jump, the more it breaks out the ore. Well, it breaks out the ore faster. But we don't have special jump right now, so we'll just have to make do with uh, regular single jumping. Let's look into it. And we have our eight iron. So technically, I use the block of iron to do this. But that's how you get your iron in the beginning. Now I'm tempted to go over there to kill the mob in the mob farm, but there's a couple of birds around. Can I just kill that bird? It's so hard to judge the distance of the bird. See, that's too high. And that's too high. And that's too low. There doesn't seem to be like a, a good middle point. Anyway, he's going to despawn by himself because it's day now, so we can start. Oh, these rock or bird are really dangerous, so let's get back in. I don't want to take a chance. These blue birds, they're murderous. They're really hard. Can I kill? Oh, he fell down. I was hoping I could kill that guy because I would love to get an ender pearl. But of course, so noisy. Of course it's not going to be that easy oh treant well not treant dead pine sorry 
I just I'm a science uh, science fiction slash fantasy fa fan, and living trees in science in uh, fantasy are tree ants usually, so I'm not used to the term uh, dead pine. So let's go down here. Oh, that's where they are. Let's first get prepared a little bit because I don't want to risk everything. My game's been going so well. And I don't want to die. Although I do have a spawning point now. So dying would be less of a problem. What do I have on me that I wouldn't want to lose? Okay. I wouldn't want to lose the charcoal. I wouldn't want to lose the watering can. And I do have a second quest book. Although I don't need to have that one on me. Let's just get rid of anything that I don't need. Because um, I'm going to keep the garden bow. So let's go down right here. And you know what? I'm not going to break the tree right now. What I'm going to do is make one more platform so that if I have to kill mobs, I have a platform to do it from. So one, two, three, four high at the bottom, like so. Let's go up on that platform. One, uh, one two, three, four high. Let's go on that platform. Ow! That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get on that platform. One, two, three, four high. Another one here. And I'm just making a couple of platforms so that I have place to go if I want to try and attack the mobs and get the tree. So one, two, four high. <gasps> no, 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 no. I didn't want to look at you. Uh better go back safe in my house where are you oh thank you this is the best position he can ever go in because i can easily kill him oh amazing so i got an ender pearl and yellow right ore to be fair this is the best thing that could have happened to me because when they get on my platform i'm sure not to lose the mob drop and they're super easy to kill so I hope it was always that easy. Now let's get rid of this. This I'm especially going to put that aside. And I'm just going to make two more crook. Because we have to go downstairs and take care of the trees. And I'm going to take down those trees once and for all. Because I don't need the trees down there now that I have a growing mechanism upstairs. Uh, I'll do it from this platform should be able to reach yes and see no chance of getting at me so I can just kill that dead pine from here now I'm going to go on the next level right here and I'm gonna do that again that's how you play it safe by the way oh wow that was such a good choice especially you don't see it okay but there's a special mob that I want to talk about do you hear the click the click that mob is a arthropod, or, oh god, I don't remember the name. Ooh, I can't kill these trees with this. I didn't know that. So the arthropod are kind of like, uh, they look, what do they look like? They look like uh, ants. And, oh my god, they duplicate and triplicate and quadruplicate, so you have to be safe when you're killing them, or else you're just going to die. Let's break... Whoa, no, 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 no. Go back up. And break it again. And we get some more mobs. I didn't keep the food on me, though. So that wasn't the smartest thing ever. Let me just finish killing those dead pine. Because the regular dead pine are super easy to kill. Where's my clickety mob? I don't see it anywhere, which I find a little bit scary. Let's take care of this dead pine. Because the axe always work. Oh no, it's not working. Oh, okay. You have to spam click it. So I'm going to take all of this wood and go back up. Oh, boy. And this one I can easily kill from up here. So I thought that the click meant that there was an arthropod or an ant-like mob. But of course there isn't. All of this I'm going to let these spawn by itself. And let's go back up. So no more trees downstairs. That's too risky. I don't want to have any risky trees. Can I hit this from here? Ow! 
that's not what I wanted to do. I don't understand why I was holding shift. And that was my last crook. So let's kill that dead pine. Let's go down to grab whatever it dropped. And we're going to be done with this. The rest will despawn by itself. Let's go back up and eat. Oh, I went here for the water and I'm not get, getting the water. So four bottles of water, which is going to turn my two dust and make myself a permanent water source. Although it's always scary to get a water source because you can get stuck in it. We do need water. So I'm, I'm, I have to get some for sure. Water. And where's my dust? I'm going to grab the blackberry juice and the dust. I have four dust. I don't even remember when I made the other dust. You know what? I'm going to transform everything into clay because it's going to be useful anyway. So this into clay, more water, this into clay. But before I do anything else, I want to have an infinite water source. So that's why I brought this. What? That's why I made those two buckets. Because now the water bottle can bring it up here and the bucket can just pick it up like this. Another one right here. And pick that one up. Okay, so let's go downstairs. I'm going to make a couple of torch because the next level I'm going to build, I want to make it um, a level that I can walk on and mob can spawn on. Let's get all of these as torch and let's go down. We'll, we'll go down. F what is that mob? I don't even know if I want to know, honestly. Let me get my slabs and... So one, two, three, four. Let's put it down here. And let's... Oh, oh God. That was such a bad move on my part. And that's why you want to put two like that. Now I have to make sure to heal first. So apple it away. And let's the saturation heal us first before we move on. I'm not moving from here until we'll fully heal like that perfect okay so let's get on the second platform now and i want the other platform to be five high so one two three four five so let's make what am i doing i need to put two of course not just one so i can get here so that's oh that's not five high that's one two three four high mm, I really want it five high so let's just go down and break that I want to have more space because since it's my under platform I might use it to pass cables and or conduit when I get to that point to be fair I'm not at that point right now but as soon as I get to that point I want to have the ability to do it stone axe let's go back down and we're going to have to break these two. Although I think that if I do that, I won't be able to stand on that platform anymore. So right here. And yeah, I won't be able to stand on that platform anymore. But oh, I can do that. So I'm good. Perfect. So let's build a ring around like so. And I'm not going to spend too much time. I just want to make this platform big enough to be able to have my infinite water source here. I'm going to put it out of the way so that I don't get stuck in it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Wow, I just, I'm mask clicking right now. Like this. And let's remove that. And I'm going to make it one more large like so. I'm going to put my infinite water source just in the back here. Right here. Do I have any slabs? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, I need more slab. Can I get my table from here? No. So let's go back upstairs, make a couple more slab. And then we're going to set up the infinite water source and we should be good. <laughs> more slabs. Nope. More slabs. Let's go back downstairs. Oh my God, that Enderman is so annoying. But I don't want to engage it if I don't need to engage it. Perfect. And the reason you want to use slab, I'm going to show you right now. So I put my infinite water source. And when I'm here, 
I can't jump. See, I'm trying to jump. But because there's a slab, I can walk out. And now I can grab a bucket of water. So let's go back up and now we're ready to roll. So now it's going to be progression time. But before, oh, I say that, but before we do progression time, let's empty the mob farm because we're coming close toward night and we want to get as much resource from the mob farm before night. Oh, my mob farm is full. So I really want to automate this as soon as possible because can you imagine how much resource I would have right now if I had this automated? I'm just being a little bit slow these days. I'm, And I'm being slow because, to be fair, I want to be super careful. I haven't died yet, and I've died so many times in my other playthrough that I know all of the things that I must not do. And at some point, I'm going to start dying. And I'm not playing hardcore with one life, because in this mod pack, there's no way of getting more lives. And I don't want to invest 20 hour or 10 hour into a playthrough just to die and say that I have to stop there. That to me is not fun. If I had a way of winning more life, then I would totally be playing hardcore like Forever Stranded. But there's no extra life mechanism, and that's the only reason I decided not to play hardcore. But deciding not to play hardcore doesn't mean that I'm not going to do the best that I can not to die ever. It's just that losing everything makes no sense to me. I would never personally play that way. And I don't see why someone would unless they're really masochist and don't really care about completing the whole thing. And I do want to complete the whole thing. I think that the difficulty going up is enough of uh, an interesting factor to make this special. It doesn't need to be one shot, one death. So we got some emerald, platinum. We're getting some good drops, even some more iron. I'm even curious to know if we didn't uh, end up create, uh, finishing another quest. So let's just take a quick look. Click here, click here to show quest. Yes, we did, even two. So we completed the cave spider with the platinum ore and the emerald ore, and I'm going to grab the I'm going to grab the platinum block because I don't know that we need so much emerald in this playthrough. No, you know what? I'm going to take the emerald. It's more rarer rest. And we finished the ore grinder, so let's pick the left reward. And let's look at those two reward bags. What good did we... Oh, oh my god, these are two of the lamest reward you can get. And I didn't even notice there's another enderman right here. Which means a another ender pearl, hopefully. Ah, oh, yes. Please stop the annoying noise. Wow, that was annoying. Okay, so now that we have our two clay, I'm going to put them... Can I craft, uncraft them? No. So in this mod pack, you need to put them down and break them. So I have eight clay, and I need basically seven bone meal to make my first crucible. So clay and bone meal... Seven portion clay and the seven portion clay are going to be turned into an unfired crucible. What's the re what's the it's a full crucible. So now we need to cook this. Let's cook the crucible. And while it's cooking, I'm going to put a torch in the corner right here because that's going to be my uh unfired sorry, my fired crucible mechanic. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that's where I'm going. That's the uh, torch is what I'm going to use to make my first bucket of lava. So let's write one this time. So on fired crucible on top. Uh, no, not on fire. Fired crucible on top of this. And now I need four cobblestone to make my first bucket of lava. And now we need for to wait for this to be ready. Another epic reward bag. <sighs> These eggs. These eggs are so annoying. They're going to be useful for trading partner later on, so we're going to use them, but at this point, it's not really good. We also defeated the Enderman and got lead and yellow right, which means I'm going to get the lead block for now. And that's another reward bag. Let me show you what the stupid death spell does. You put it down and you right-click it and it goes... Tell me that's not the most annoying thing ever. So I'm keeping it only for one reason. 
I'm keying it because it's 833 EMC. So hopefully I'm going to turn this annoying, annoying thing into something good. So let's look at the quest book again, and we want to make a stone barrel. Do I have enough stone for that? I basically <laughs> need three stone for the stone uh, slabs, and I need six. So six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, yeah, I have 12 cobblestone. So let's cook all of these right now. And you know what? I'm going to use one of the charcoal because it's a lot of uh, slabs to be using. Here you go. So that charcoal should make the last eight no problem. I still have some dust and I still have some water, but I don't want to go out of here because I haven't finished my second floor. So the next thing I want to make is the stone barrel and then we can make the cobblestone generator as soon as this is ready. 223 liquid lava. Oh my god. The, oh, thank you. You're annoying, but at least you came to my level. So where's my stone axe? Come. Come on. Yes. Just die. And give me another... No. That's not what I wanted. You guys know what I wanted. I want... Oh, I did get an ender pearl. I just didn't see it. That's what we need in the beginning. We need ender pearls, ender pearls, and ender pearls. Let's just break down that tree. If we can stay safe. Yeah, we can. And... Really? And die. Oh! I missed my shot. Oh my god. That was very close. Oh my god, that was bad. I just wanted to attract it. Him. I didn't know he was going to jump so fast and we can kill him again and get another ender pearl perfect so that platform is very useful as you can see I've used it multiple times just this way to kill endermans uh, all of the ender pearls here this and let's put the two eyes there lead and everything I'm not working on my chest and rearranging because we're gonna make the ultra storage pretty soon and things are going to be great from that point on. What's my lava situation? Oh, not even halfway done. But that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> so this is the easy storage quest. To use an easy storage, you need storage boxes and a storage core. You can continue to add storage box onto each other to add more storage capacity. You can upgrade your storage by adding various block from the mod, including a search and a crafting upgrade. Higher tiers of materials give more storage capacity per block. So it's kind of an, a dumber A2 system with lots of storage, but I don't think it has auto crafted. So we need to build a storage core and four standard storage box and we'll get a condensed storage box. So let's look into the storage box. I'm going to do uh, at e oh, easy storage. Oh just easy so for the storage box we need four chests and a blank box and a blank box is done that way so pretty easy as for the storage core we need a blank box an iron ingot and a chest so blank box we need to make four five of them so let's let's do that right now do i have enough wood to do it i think i do actually so let's do that blank box one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And now the easy, the storage core. Oh, I don't have the chest. So that's four. So that's one core, uh, not one core, one uh, storage box. That's two. That's three. And that's the fourth one. Fourth one. And then we need one more only one two three four oh, just two not four let's make the last one and now we can make a storage core i'll make only one of those don't want to spend my iron and then i'll make the storage box i need one two three four of those quest completed and i'll take the right reward back perfect so let me show you that that honestly it's one of the great thing of this mod pack because you get it early on so I'm going to put a storage core right here 
And then I'm just going to use one of these ultra storage. And let me show you right now. Right click, zero of zero, because I don't have any storage. Now let me put that on top here. 80,000 storage. So now I can dump pretty much anything I want into this. And these storage box, I'm not even going to bother with them. Because let me show you quickly. Going to grab all this and put it all in here. You know what? I'm just going to be doing massive dump for now because I'm going to get back whatever I want and I just need the space to be able to show you how amazing that thing is. And let's just mass click everything. I want to put everything in the storage solution. We're going to be making the search as soon as we can. I'm going to investigate how much it costs. But this is only my third episode in. I have like one hour and 20 minutes of play and already I can... I have a mass storage system and I'm never going to need to build a chest again. So this is how amazing this thing is. Let me put all of this here. Oh, I didn't want to put the axe and because that's a defense, defense thing, I'm going to grab it again and I can use the axe to break all of this. What's my cobblestone? Still no lava. One other ultra storage box. Let's put it down right here. And did I put any in here? I thought I had three of these uh, ultra storage box. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Although, no, this is a block of diamond. But now look at this. 160,000 storage. And the crazy part, this is a con condensed storage. Look at this. Add a condensed storage. 100... What? Wait. It didn't change anything? 160... 164 and only has 4,000. I thought that the content storage added like a crazy amount. I'm going to take this one out and this one out because I want to put it here. I don't want it to be in blocking my back view. I'm going to put that there for the time being. Lava. Perfect. So let me grab my iron ingots. Let me grab my buckets. One bucket. Where's my, oh, I also want my reward back. Where's my other bucket? My water bucket right here. Oh, three cobblestone. No, I used too much cobblestone. Well, that was a very, very strong derp on my part. Oi. Okay, if you guys don't understand what happened, I haven't kept enough cobblestone. Because the cobblestone generator requires six cobblestone. Cobblestone. Uh, not cobblestone. Cobblestone generator right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a glass. I didn't even keep. Oh, I did keep one sand. So one sand right here. Another dirt here. And is it diorite? Granite? Nope. No cobblestone here, and any cobblestone in here. Nope. So I'm now missing three cobblestone. Well, oh, but I still have the 64 dirt from the reward here. So I can't believe I really misplayed that this bad, but you need to be careful. I should have put it aside right from the beginning. So now I'm stuck just sifting dirt until I get my missing three cobblestone, which means 12 stone pebble. Six, nine, oh, okay, so that's fairly easy, and 12. Okay, so panicked a little bit for no reason. Let's transform that into the three cobblestone, and with the extra bucket, let's get the lava from here, and we still need to cook this uh, sand. Let's grab a wooden, oh, just, just a wood plank. Don't want to waste too much time on that. Gonna start. Oh god, I got so lucky that I didn't burn up in this. That would have been so bad burning with my lava. Let's get rid of all of this and the juicer and the dirt. And I don't even remember why I made the stone, which is kind of sad. But now I can do the cobblestone generator. And I'm going to need a lot of cobble. So even though it's very expensive, I'm going to make the tier 2 cobblestone generator. And you know what? We need cobble, cobble, cobble. And we have 9 diamonds from this. So I'm also 
even going to upgrade it to a tier 3. Because that's going to jumpstart. Oh. Windstorm! Death from above! So I was quiet because the music is very loud, but remember in the beginning when I told you about the multiple events and one being more bird? Well, the windstorm's the one with more bird. I like that they go in that corner, because by going in that corner, they're basically dropping stuff on my platform. Although the one under is scaring me, because I didn't build the second level. And we're on day 8, so we didn't get anything on day 6. Oh god. But we got something on day 8. Please despawn, go away. This is really scary, because I didn't finish my second level. I was too concentrated on getting my other things done. That I forgot to build my second level to be safe. Look at all of the drops though. When these things despawn, I'm gonna have a lot of nice drops to pick up. Oh, it's so noisy! I'm tempted to bring the sound down, but one of the biggest complaint... Uh, why are you in my base? Wow, I don't know how that happened, but like I said, when I told you guys that you need to have a second and a third level to protect yourself, I wasn't kidding. You saw what happened. Basically, this bird was kind of in my base, but not really in my base. That was very scary because all of this playthrough could have ended with my first death. And look what I have on me. Oh my god. No, I don't want to keep any of this on me. Whew. That's the first thing. So, guys, I completely forgot to tell you about that. And I'm telling you now, always keep a chest and the close to you. Because the moment an event happens, you should get rid of all of your important stuff. Because you can never control if they're going to get you through. Like, I had a double plate and they still got me through. Which was very scary. But now the event is done and we're safe. And I have to admit, I was extremely like lucky but look at all of these drop these mob chunk and the feathers and everything like that's a very good haul why do i keep putting things in here so that's what i have to stop doing i have to start thinking about putting everything into that uh storage system because basically now we have the storage system so might as well use it let's put everything in here except this i want to keep that to open it Let's do that. There's no worries anymore, so we might as well put everything in here for now. And that also. Do Now what I need to know is if I have my sugar cane, because we have to start automating the mob farm. That's probably the biggest block that I'm having right now. Let's get rid of all of this, and nothing left in there. Perfect, so let's break these down. Perfect, and I'm going to put the cobblestone generator here and this on top so that I start getting some cobblestone. And let's look at the reward back. Oh, another one of those bell. I can't believe I'm getting these bells so often. Let's eat up. And then we can take a quick break and look at the quest book. So we finished the cobblestone generator. <laughs> Right, reward bag. Don't want the spawn villager yet. Let's look what's in there. Ooh, another one. So let's put it here, and we're 244,000 spot. So as you can see, it might not be an ME2 system, but we're not worried anytime soon. And now that we're getting almost infinite cobblestone, we need to make one very simple, useful tool. Oh, that's one of my two iron left. It doesn't matter. Let's just make the tool. So this and that will get me a chisel. And I want a chisel because, oh God, cobblestone is ugly. And I'm going to get some, ooh, maybe zag. What should I use today? Like I want to do something different. I usually go with these squarish kind of thing. And I just want to do different. Let's look at cut. What does this look like? 
Yeah, no, that's just weird. Okay, so what about something different? Trodden brick. Let's try that. No, still ugly. Break that up. And I feel like I'm wasting time, but I'm going to try and build something that's not so ugly. Disordered tile, tiles, pillar, twisted, prism, embossed, indented, cobble, black stone, cobble, white stone, nether, cobblestone, wood. That's just weird. Small brick. I really don't know what to use that would be different. What does the encased brick look like? still ugly um uh, what next hopefully this is the good one cracked brick small disordered tile disordered tile french too i'm a frenchie so let's try french too you know what that's not so bad i think that's what i'll use i'll use french too for today so let's start building with that well i'm going to do that in my time lapse. i'm going to tag a small time lapse along because building a second and third level it's not going to be the most interesting thing so before we do that i'm i don't remember if we had the sugarcane seed yes we did so let's grab oh, wow do, do you guys see how much cobblestone we're getting now like, this is why I wanted to upgrade this, because instead of having to wait hours for the cobblestone that we need, we're going to get all of the cobblestone that we need super fast. Uh, gravel, so transform that into sand, and let's go. So, let's go down, and we're going to break this one, and put sand here, and we're going to break that one. And put send here, and we're going to break that one, and put send here. And why are we doing that? Because now we can start getting a lot of sugar cane. And to automate our mod farm, we need a lot of sugar and sugar cane. So that's what we need to take care of right now. Uh, watering can, and let's go back down. Although it is night, so this is a bit risky. I'm looking around, I don't see any bird clothes, so maybe I'm kind of safe-ish? Uh, I say that, but let's be honest, I'm not sure I believe that I'm safe. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. So I completely forgot about the fact that farming will do that to you. So let me get rid of the sugar cane, this, and the guardian bow. And wow, okay, so that was a very good trick actually. You just break down the floor and kill the thing through the floor. But that's why I want multiple level. And we're gonna get, we're gonna have to get to turret really soon because when mobs spawn like this, you want turret killing them. So let's look at the uh, mob farm. So we need the slime thing, which means we meet, which means we need rice let's let's take care of the rice right now so if you remember for the rice we need a flint uh flint stiffened mesh so let's just transform all of that into gravel which we will immediately transform into flint and let's look at flint stiffened mesh flint stiffened mesh you need basically a string mesh and six of the flints so one two three that's one one two three that's two one two three that's four three two three that's four let's transform all of that into gravel like so so that's six and we had made oh we had made a second uh mesh where's my second mesh right here Let's transform that second mesh into a flint stiffened mesh. Whoop. Like so. And now we can sift some more dirt until we get a rice seed. So let's get rid of all of this. And the way you pop this one out, you can break it or you can shift right click. And then you right click the next one. And then we can start doing dirt until we get 
our rice seed. So coffee seed, uh, sapling, rice seed. Perfect. So we're done. We finally got it. It's pretty easy getting the material that you want, to be fair. Let me just look at uh, dirt in a flint stiffen mesh. So dirt in a flint stiffen mesh, rubber sapling, we have flax seed, canola seed. So flax seed, no. So we don't have any flax seed. I'm just going to continue this until we get a flax seed because then it means we're going to have one of every type of resource. And well, and we won't need to ever um, need to sieve any more dirt with a flint stiffen mesh. So let's put the flint stiffen mesh back here. Let's put that in here. And we have the rice seed. Put all of this here. And I'm going to keep the dirt because I'm going to bring it downstairs for uh, the. I have on one side my sugar cane and the other side, well, not on the other side, next to it. I'm just going to have my uh, my dirt for the rice. Now that I have the rice, I'm going to be able to make the uh, slime balls. And with the sugar gain, I'm going to be able to make the punji and the extreme vector plate. Although I'm seeing that, I already know I'm going to need to get some, uh, some stone cooking. So let's put all of this in here and let's get a stack of stone. So this is all started. Let's look at the other quest. So this quest here wants us to build open modular turrets. Turrets protect you and your base from mobs. You will need a base to place a turret on. You will also need power and in most case ammo. A crank will allow you <laughs> to give the turret power manually. So in the beginning, we're going to go with uh, crank power because it lasts long enough. You don't have mobs attacking you all the time, so it's kind of enough. We're going to need to make a turret base, which means four redstone right here. And the first one wants us to make a potato cannon. Potato cannon means two more redstone. So four, five, six, seven, and none in this, so seven. And then what else did we need? Let me check again. We needed a basic turret crank, which is not a problem. So we have everything we need. And the reason we have everything we need is that we got a redstone block. Let me just look down here. Perfect. So let's get cracking with that because I'm getting tired of having these birds attack me. So first, we're going to break a couple more wood down like so. I'm going to break this block of redstone into redstone. Potato cannon turret, I need two barrel, one, two. Then I need one chamber, like so. Then I need the potato turret. Then I need the base turret, which needs a sensor tier one. Let's do one of these. And then we need the crank, like so. So this should be, oh no, that's not one quest. I didn't make the whole base. I just started making the base. So this is one full base. Claim reward. So we're going to get, to get 64 potato and a sound muffler. And the sound muffler is basically because of the tuck, tuck, tuck from the turret, which is very annoying. But to be, but to be fair, in my other playthrough, another bell. When I put the sound muffler, I didn't get the warning that mobs were attacking. So it didn't end well for me. I don't want to use my 64 potato. It doesn't do any enough damage. What I really want is a disposable item turret. So I'm going to make... Oi. So I'm going to make a in disposable item turret. Because in the disposable item turret, you can use the, um, the cobblestone. So one of these, and then this, like so. So I'm not going to use the potato cannon one, but now I can come out here and look around, make sure there's no bird. Perfect. So there's no bird. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this base right here and I need something to climb. And then I'm going to put the disposable item turret on top like so. I'm going to put some cobblestone in here and I'm going to put the end crank under because I don't think it's going to block my path. 
Oh, no, it doesn't work, so I have to put it here. So I'm going to recharge this fully, like so. And no, almost. And now, if we ever get a bird close, it's just going to start killing the birds. And I'm going to use a wooden hammer on this, so I'm going to get three gravel. Perfect. So now we finally have some defense. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but just the fact that you hear the tuck, 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 you know that some mobs are being killed, and it gives you a chance to start reacting. Now, the one thing I wanted to check is, can I make... Oh, it makes the ugly plank. So let's go down here. And now, like I said, I can now start building the platform using the uh, cobblestone. At some point, I'm going to have to break the, this wooden part so that I start using the, uh, cobble, the cobblestone everywhere. But let's just do this for now because I want to put the first layer of rice like so. And now that I have this small base, I can put the first layer of rice like so. And... Where are my rice seed <coughs> and my O? And I should have my water can. So let's go back up and get the watering can. Now that I feel somewhat safer, to be fair, I don't feel all that safe. I just feel somewhat safer. And the beauty of the watering can is that it does a three by three. Well, does it really this one? Yeah, three by three. So by watering this metal, <laughs> that's one of the bugs that I found funny. Oh God. I completely forgot about that thing. I can't believe I keep forgetting about that thing. Uh, and I'm being very unlucky because honestly, I don't remember getting one of these every time I harvest in my field. So I put my cannon on the top but to be fair, in my other playthrough, I put like three cannon around my farm. So that the moment that I harvested my farm, I would get my three cannon shooting at that stupid thing. And I was always making sure that I never harvested my farm unless everything was ready. So I would go click, 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 harvest everything and then move on. Because that mob is really, really annoying. And I'm going to also make this one longer, like so. Oh, and grab that. And no, not yet. I'm still waiting for some rice. So this says cheese, but it's actually the rice seed. And when you harvest them, it does give you rice. I usually always harvest using my hand closest to my stone axe <clears throat> so that I can quickly switch to my stone axe. Because as you guys have seen, when that mob spawned, like, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to use the axe. And that's, like, see? I just find that crazy. I harvest one thing and get the mob. But when I harvest six of these sugar cane, then I'm all good. Anyway, let's continue with this. I just wanted to check the vector plate. Vector plate. Um... Vector plate is a sugar and a slime ball. So I do need one slime ball at least. And the rice slime ball needs four rice dough. And four rice dough need six rice. Oh god, I'm nowhere close. So I was hoping to at least finish that quest so I could show you. But I'm looking at my recording and I'm already at 48 minutes. Like it's so easy to go over because this mod pack, like every mod pack that I play are mod packs that I've tried and very like fallen really in love with. So it's easy to go, oh, that's scary. I harvested it automatically. So I could have ended up with a situation where a mob spawn. But like I was saying, all the mob packs that I decide to play are like just to me are very fun. I wouldn't be playing it unless it wasn't super fun. So when I start recording, I just want to do one more thing and one more thing and one more thing. And as I'm saying that, to be fair, I know that I'm above my time, but I, I just have this feeling of one more thing where I just want to get the next step. I want to have that one quest completed. And I basically have all of my rice and all of my sugar cane. Oh, 
and I kill that in one go. And what is this? Live drain charge. Use to fire a quick live draining beam or fire from a dispenser. Oh, that's kind of cool. I haven't really played with any of these, so I'll be fair. I'm not quite sure how they work yet, but I'm going to find it out for one of the future episodes and get back to you on that. So all of that, and I need a bucket. I'm going to be able to complete the quest that I wanted to complete before finishing this very long episode. But I hope you're having as much fun watching the episode as I have making them. Because if I could, I think I'd be streaming and making four hour long episode. Just so that I could be sharing all of this with you guys while playing like crazy amount of time. So this and one, two, three, four, five. So those are the punji stick. And now I need one to be transformed into sugar. I need some stone. So let's grab the stones from here. So it's stone, stone. Then it's sugar and it's one rice slime ball. That's eight vector plate. And that's the slime ball completed. Middle one. And the, oh, it's extreme vector plate. Look how easy it is to make extreme vector plate. Boom. Boom, extreme vector plate. And I'm going to use the Mob Masher luck upgrades because those are the first one I want to use. Because I don't want to take any risk, I'm going to put everything in here before adventure anywhere. Watering can, this. Can I make more of these? Wait. One. And. One, two. And. Oh. I don't know where I got this sugar from. So, sugar, rice ball, two, vector plate, this, and vector plate, that. And the reason I'm doing this is this... Oh. Again, you, you see what I mean? Oh, wow, another ultra storage block? Are you kidding me? 324,000 storage. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Let me just check one more thing quickly. I know, I keep saying one more thing. So, Hopper. Uh, oh, Ender Hopper, what's this? Obsidian, I don't have Obsidian, and I don't have Hopper. So, yeah, not that. What I want to do? What I wanted to do is try to automate my mob farm. I have my Punzi stick, I have my Extreme... What am I missing? I'm missing my bow because I'm going to go open up the mob farm. And I'm going to be just quiet because the mob sounds are so high. And I'm just trying to do this quickly. Because I want to uh, show you the automation of the mob farm. It's not going to be fully automated because I can't pick up everything. Oh! Do you hear the tuck tuck tuck? That was my cannon attacking mob. Oh wow, there's so many mobs in my mob farm. This is crazy. <laughs> the mob farm's really just, let's be honest, the mob farm is just great. A three by nine is like, it seems like an optimal size. I'd started with a smaller side and I quickly upgraded to a bigger size just because of how fast I was getting resource. Can I do it with this? Oh, yes. So much faster. <laughs> the noise was just crazy. So, let me grab... Wait, I heard an explosion. <gasps> No! My mob farm! So that's what happens when you just want to do things too quickly. What did I end up doing? I ended up getting a skeleton to fire at a... What's it called? A skeleton to fire at a... Um, at a creeper. And the creeper blew up. And so the creeper started attacking... And it decided to blow. Wow, but look at all of the drops that I would, I'm would i getting, though. 
Wow. Okay, can I redo the mob farm quickly out of cobblestone? This is really sad. I can't believe I completely exploded my mob farm. And look at the bottom, all of the mobs that are there. So this is going to become the ugliest mob farm in history <clears throat> of Minecraft mob farm. Because I wasn't careful and I got too excited and I decided to rush things that I shouldn't have. And now I remember this is why you don't start killing mobs with your axe when it's full. Um, oh, that's it. That was all my cobblestone. Okay, so let's continue like this with the wood. And I'm just quiet because I have to admit I'm a little bit frustrated right now. I can't believe I broke my whole mob farm like that. And this... Perfect. So now I can actually break this stupid wood. <clears throat> like this. And then I can show you the vector plate. So the worry with the vector plate is if you put it down, ah, it moves you forward. So put another one here, moves you forward. If you do old shift though, you can walk on vector plate. Don't you guys ever forget that. It is so massively important. Because let's say that you're opening up your mob farm and you go walk on your mob farm and you forget that you can walk on the vector plate and you put these punji sticks like I just did right now. <clears throat> well, you could be thrown into your punji stick and end up dying. So always remember, you can always close the mob farm with, you can always walk on the extreme vector plate, well, any vector plate with using your uh, shift key. Finish closing that up. Oh, I'm out already. Oh my God, I'm out already of that too. This is the ugliest mob farm ever. But like I just said, when you're trying to rushing, rush things that you shouldn't, you end up making mistake like that. So I'm going to close my mob farm again. Oi. That's just bad. Oh no. That side's bad. So I'm kind of confused. I shouldn't have broken my mob farm is what I shouldn't have done in the beginning. But this is now an hour long episode. So even though I want to continue and I don't want to end this because I'm having too much fun. I'm just going to end this episode right now and i'm going to continue recording another episode just to be able to move forward as fast as possible because like i just said in all honesty i'm having a crazy ton of fun so let me empty my inventory again an excuse not to end like so and let's go out with the outro Looking at the most ugly mob farm I have ever built. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!